We're here today. We're here to watch one of the best players in the world. His name is Rue. He's running up with a battle axe. We will see the greatest chivalry gameplay you've ever seen. He throws an axe. His concept of a melee weapon is unknown. He throws his secondary weapon. He picks up another and he keeps on going. Now he's going to throw fists. Never mind. He's got a javelin. And I can't see through the pixels, but that looked mighty violent. He comes in. He's got the, he got to steal the gold, but instead he's pillaging their lives. He's got an arrow right in this his back like spine. Is right. Yes. If, uh, if your career as a... Uh... A YouTuber doesn't take off. You should definitely take up commentating. <laughs> <laughs> He's attacking an inanimate object due to his incompetency of attacking people. And now that that wood has been shown what for, a tree that was already been dead has been returned to the afterlife. Think oh, of no, it like anti-necromancy. He died to a small amount of fire damage. A blight pop of hot wind in his general direction killed I'd, him. I'd like to at least see you walk away from being caught on fire. He's swinging around the candle-wielding device. And the kill got oh, stolen sorry. by one of his teammates. And so he lashes out at an innocent bystander. He throws the plank of wood. He slashes with a knife. He yeets it forward, but it's valiantly blocked, and he starts throwing axes. For real, my guy, who plays in third person in this game? What the hell? It's supposed to be a first person stabbing game, and you're over here using a third person camera. I don't disrespect <laughs> okay, you for it. Right, I fine, merely fine. think you're a wimp. No, <laughs> <laughs> we perfectly respect all personally. decisions here, but if you do it in third person, you're sad, and I do not wish to speak with you. He is now emoting. He's screaming, letting the entire enemy team know where he is. I will never be satisfied. I'm like the Twitter of Chivalry 2. He runs forwards with a cheer. He runs forwards with a dagger. You should not run with scissors, but they never said anything about knives, ladies and gentlemen. He runs past a teammate using a bow and arrow. What an actual scrub. Who does that shit? <laughs> Literally, the achievement for getting headshots with a, with a bow and arrow is called you're playing the wrong game. Even the developers know they don't, don't know why they added the arrow class. He pokes things through a small hole. He pokes Ow. at the random knight. The knight comes around the corner, doesn't know what he's looking at. This man has a stick. He's got the range, but the knight, the knight, Knight has armor who will win in this duel. Never mind, Rue is sitting down. He's pondering his life decisions. Why is he here? How did he get here? He picks up fruit. He's about to throw down. He's about to freaking invent gravity. <laughs> <laughs> he, he full on cloaks his teammate in the back of the cranium. The man has broken their ranks. He has to throw fists. He pulls out a weapon. He gets a good blow. Denies him a shield. If you kick him into the fire now, he'll likely die. And he stabs him in the face, and then he kicks him <laughs> under the fire. Wonderful. And in the, it was the last thing he'll do. The narrator has taken a moment to acknowledge he doesn't know what voice this is. He swings in to get that man in the back. Some would call it a cowardly strategy. Others would call it making Sun Tzu proud. He runs back into and grabs a sheet. He does not grab a shield. He instead grabs an entire barrel. He does not. He resupplies at a local place, despite the fact that he does not have a bow and arrow. He picks up a bow and arrow. Now everyone in the fandom hates him because he is playing the game wrong. His entire helmet leg. That's his leg. My god, his leg is getting jiggy with it. Even in the afterlife, he can break it down. That's... <laughs> there we go. I've got my weapon. He grabs a fish, the weapon of choice for any wise man. Whilst Jesus we used to utilize that weapon to feed several hundred people, he's going to use it to create several hundred corpses, arguably feeding more people in the process, if they were okay with that morally. But most people aren't, so let's not think about it too hard. He gets stabbed in the back by a coward. He spins around with a roundhouse and stabs someone else in the back like a coward. He gets set on fire, his health is draining, but he does have access to a war horn. He utilizes the horn to heal up, but it's too late, and he dies to 10 damage of the fire. However, he did manage to help push the ranks, and so that's probably good enough. Final objective is the one thing he's good at, killing soldiers. I'm not so sure about that. Not gonna lie, the Razor had to take a second to rethink his life choices as he wrote read that script. There was a gun to my head at the time. He misses ah. the attack and doesn't, just barely doesn't block in time. A war axe cleaves in through his skull, and the last thing going through his mind was an axe. And so... I mean, you sure it wasn't your commentary? <laughs> <laughs> what a way to go. I am your subconscious mind, your inspiration, and I'm telling you to kill people. <laughs> he goes in for the next guy, and he heals himself instead. Healing in the middle of a battlefield, not the wisest decision, but everyone just kind of lets him do it, because I guess, I don't know, maybe oh. they have some kind of... ...or something. He gets stabbed by three people at once. <laughs> What asshole. <laughs> but there's defeat. But it's Null is not over. He can throw hands. He's got allies. Can they take out this one final soldier using nothing but their fists? They certainly can try. And they failed. But it sure was funny to watch happen. Team Mason has killed them. I once knew a guy called Team. Paul Team. <laughs> All those people with their elbows on the dinner table. How goddamn rude. Am I right? <laughs>
<laughs> what the fuck? And though he got just got clocked around the face, his health is looking mighty low, but he does have the defensive maneuver of wood. But Rich Mahogany could not defend him today. Taken his prize, that man runs away and proceeds to clot someone else around the face with that tree that has been turned into an ass holder. He reappears with yet another chair. It may have four legs, and he'll use it to break other people's. You could probably grab that horse over there. Where's oh, that, that's not a real horse. Sorry, I, I can't tell. <laughs> I thought that wooden deer was an actual horse. I have such low resolution, I thought it was a right, horse. I'm going to climb on that. That's my mission now. I We've given him a mission. He goes towards the horse. horse. He lands on the ground. His entire spinal column has become one with the carpet. His mind said it was a good idea, and his coccyx prayed for mercy, but unfortunately, gravity is a cruel, cruel mistress who cares not for whom you pray. He remembers for a moment that we're all fellow men, we're all human beings, but they're wearing a different color, they woke up and picked a different wardrobe today, and so they must die. He goes in for the shins, and he gets planted into the ground. He heals up and runs oh, away man. like the bravest person I've ever met, but with an abs- but then ab gets absolutely <laughs> styled on by some guy who had airtime. He actually isn't a member of the army. He just accidentally wore red clothes today. He climbs up like a man who has never climbed something before. <laughs> he runs back to the resupply case, not really acknowledging that he has two other weapons he could be using, but instead he will stick with the knives. Am I being too mean, by the way? I do apologize. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, good, good. Okay. He continues to be the worst player I've ever seen. <laughs>